Welcome back to my channel. This is Ranjir Raj and you are streaming on the Study Beast. So in my previous video based on the computer graphics, I discussed regarding the DDA algorithm that is the Digital Differential Analyzer which is used for point estimation and for uh, drawing the slope of the line. And by based on that, we will estimate the pixel uh, determination uh, in the computer screen for uh, doing different kinds of graphic techniques. So today in this uh, video, I'll be discussing regarding the DDA algorithm, uh, the steps to solve the problem based on the DDA algorithm. In my next video will be based on the uh, problem, actual a problem, how to solve based on this DDA algorithm on basis of these nine steps which you see on this board. So let's get started. So ready? Uh, so first of all, uh, we have to accept the endpoint coordinates. Like we will be given two endpoint coordinates or two set of endpoint coordinates like the x1, y1 and x2, y2. Next, after that, we calculate the dx. dx, uh, mind you, is a small portion. Like you see in the integration and differentiation techniques, dx is a very small piece of a, like a large set or a large area. So dx is that particular portion which is calculated by the difference between x2 and x1 that is x2 minus x1 and dy y2 minus y1. Next step 3 is uh, to calculate the absolute value of dx and absolute value of dy. Now why to calculate the absolute value? Absolute value is used for calculating the uh, like the negative value or the actual value. We don't want to calculate any negative value in this so we use this absolute technique so abs is written in that way abs dx if it is greater than abs of dy then the slope uh, if it is less than 1 and then if that is a particular condition satisfying this then we take k is equal to abs of dx else if that is not the case then we take k is equal to abs of dy next after we do that we move on to step 4 that is calculating delta x and delta y. Now there is a difference between dx and delta x. dx is that small portion from that large area. Whereas delta x is the amount by which x will be incremented and amount by which y will be incremented. That will be adding some value to delta x to update it to the next pixel or the next higher point. So that is calculated by uh, delta x is equal to dx upon k uh, k is from the previous step that we get from step 3 and delta y is dy upon k next after we do that we initialize or we update these points to x is equal to x1 and y is equal to y1 and after that when we do this then we display the pixel at x comma y like in the graph we estimate or plot the points where these two points belong to in the x and the y axis Next step 7 uh, is to calculate that is the x. x is equal to x plus delta x and y is equal to y plus delta y. Uh, that is the amount by which x and y will be incremented successively. Uh, next in uh, step 8 we calculate the pixel at round x and round y. Round will be used for calculating if there is for example a floating point integer or a uh, long integer is there. Uh, and if that contains some uh, decimals in between so we cannot plot a actual decimal point in the numerical problem so in order to avoid those we round it off to a pure integer like the rounding off is done uh, more similarly like if it is more than 5 then we move it to the uh, next highest integer for example if it is 102.6 then we round it off to 103 or if it is 102.2 then we will consider it as 102 that's it. So after we do step 8, uh, then we move on to step 9 and step 9 is to repeat this step 7 and step 8 k number of times depending upon what your k is. If k is 3, k is 5, then you have to repeat it that many times. So this is the algorithm and now we move on to the advantages and the disadvantages which we haven't covered in our previous sections. So the advantage is that it avoids floating point multiplication. Now However, there is like uh, a less number of operations are there, but it avoids floating point multiplication. Like, like the multiplication will uh, grow up the overhead of uh, these problems. Like in if it was multiplication, 
then this complicated steps would be there in this so for that we need to write separate steps so that is avoided and as you can see it is simply uh, to implement this so it is much simpler than the other algorithms uh, which I will be covering so this is the basic algorithm out of all this and the disadvantages of this is that it requires floating point operation like you cannot avoid those operation but like addition is required so addition is a floating point uh, while you calculate the output it can be in the uh, floating point uh, value so floating point addition basically uh, it requires floating point addition operations are required not subtraction subtraction in some times it may come but most of the times only additions are required and as you can see uh, you round off these values in the step 8 so that will actually do the rounding of the error so that rounding is basically you are ignoring those actual pixels so that may actually shift up pixel from its actual position to some other position and so you may get a like distorted line or a slanting line instead of getting a straight line or the desired line uh, which you get from or you expect from this algorithm so this is all about what you can expect from the DD algorithm in detail so this is all about this algorithm and its advantages and disadvantages in my next section I will discuss regarding the problem based on solving these steps so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video